for you to calculate the role center if i have to tell you in a very very simple way right so the step one will be you actually extend the upper and lower arm so that it intersects somewhere and that intersection point is nothing but instantaneous center so you extend the arms to intersect and this intersection point is also called as instantaneous center so what is the purpose of instantaneous center so the instantaneous center is nothing but a point along which your wheel will be actually moving up and down so if you actually see a car moving up and down it doesn't go vertically up and down right it actually follows a curved path and this is the uh, center along which your wheel will be moving up and down so it's very important for you to actually finalize these uh, upper and lower arm geometry for you to find the trajectory path of your uh, of your wheel it, it's very important for you to know what is the path that your wheel follows because so in a competition car it doesn't matter that much on what path your wheel follows that much but in a passenger car this wheel is actually inside the body so when it's actually inside the body packaging it's very important for you to know what is the path that your wheel follows at all bump and steer conditions so that it can maintain the minimum clearances with all the surrounding parts around the wheel because these are one of the critical safety aspects right you can't have your wheel interfering when you're driving at 100 km per hour and suddenly when you're turning uh, because of the wheel compression and it's moving up it actually interferes with one of the parts so that's that's one of the safety hazards so it's very important for you to know how to calculate the instantaneous center along which your wheel rotates and this is exactly how you calculate instantaneous center along which your wheel will be moving up and down so once you have found what the instantaneous center is you actually then connect that instantaneous center to the wheel center point okay, so the wheel vertical axis center point you connect this line and assuming your left and right suspension in the 99.99 percent case scenario they are going to be symmetric right so symmetric in a sense it's going to be exactly same along this vertical central axis right so wherever this line intersects the vertical axis that is going to be the roll center this is a tiny center line wherever it intersects your vertical axis that is going to be a roll center 